Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and if you're watching this video as soon as it drops, first of all, I love you, you're my favorite, thanks for turning on push notifications, but second of all, Season 27 is dropping in a couple of hours, or by the time you're also watching this, it's probably already dropped, which makes you not as cool as other people that have push notifications on. <laughs> and it also hurts my feelings. Which means it's finally time to make another video talking about the best heroes to play in Season 27, which is definitely going to be an interesting season involving the tank role because there were some big changes in the middle of Season 26, most notably with Orisa and Hammond, where Orisa got a huge buff to her passive. But despite Blizzard's best efforts to make at least Orisa a little bit more relevant, she's not going to come anywhere close to my picks for some of the best heroes to play in Season 27, which, by the way, I always say, just because I don't list off your favorite hero doesn't mean you can't play it in season 27. The best way to win competitive games is to play the hero you're most comfortable with, which is why I list off these new heroes so that you can either A, practice them, or B, go back to a hero that you spent a lot of time on because maybe you didn't realize that they're going to be somewhat decent in season 27. So I'm going to be giving you two DPS heroes, one tank, and one support hero for you to possibly practice, play in the off season, or just sharpen your skills with. So let's get it started. Now for the best DPS DPS heroes in Overwatch. For the first one, I want to choose a general DPS hero, your go-to option. Someone that you can always pick no matter what's on the enemy comp that you don't really have to be scared of facing. And someone like McCree will allow you to be secure going against any kind of comp, will allow you to climb the ladders a lot more frequently depending on how you are with aiming. And I know that's a bit of an obvious statement, but it's really up to you to look yourself in the mirror, throw up a little bit because you realize how ugly you are, and ask yourself, am I good with aiming and even if you do say no there are countless workshop game modes that can sharpen your skills with McCree or really any kind of hit scan heroes and it will pay you dividends in the long run I mean McCree is a very straightforward hero and doesn't take a lot of knowledge to understand how he works it just takes dedication and time to get down your hit scan skill and he's always been that kind of hero but why he's gonna be better in season 27 specifically is because he just got a buff to his health now, it's not a massive buff, it is only 25 HP, but that's 25 extra health that you didn't have beforehand that can allow you to be a tiny bit more aggressive or be a little bit more secure with your high noon. I mean, his high noon isn't that best of an ability, but I mean, once you get the aiming down and you go into the advanced skill requirements, you can start to learn how to use his high noon ability to your advantage of getting your ammo back in large team fights so that you can get more ammo and get faster kills. Because we all can agree his high noon kind of blows, but his hero kit just by himself is an excellent hero to play with not only that just as a general hero to pick right out the gates you're gonna be secure against a popular tank duo like a Reinhardt and Zarya you're gonna be great because you can chip away at the shield and it'll go away consistently against even like a dive comp like a Winston and McCree you're in the back line and even if you get dove all you gotta do is try to navigate to your healer and you'll be able to focus the diva because they're way out of position and when pharmacy shows up you're gonna be the guy that gets called upon because, well, you're the hit scan guy. But along with that, when the most popular solo tank heroes on the field, Hammond, you could easily stop him with your stun ability. McCree can stop a lot of things, can counter a lot of things, and has very few counters himself. That's why I feel like he's going to be a good solid pick for anybody to try to learn. You don't need to practice his abilities. You don't really need to know a lot about positioning. Just try to stay as far away as possible. Don't use your high noon when Diva's still in her mech, and you'll be good to go. <laughs> but do you guys remember, like, a long, long time ago, Ago, I think like about five seconds when I said that McCree doesn't have a lot of counters Yeah, I said doesn't have a lot doesn't mean that he doesn't have any so I wanted to pick another hero that can try to counter McCree if he is gonna be a popular pick So I decided to go with Hanzo to be another great DPS hero in season 27 And I know that might come to a shock to some of y'all, but yeah b -b 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 Bro, you act, I thought you hated Hanzo Oh, I'm gonna have to make another video explaining why I hate Hanzo because there's some people that don't know why I hate Hanzo He is such a good DPS hero and he's such an easy DPS hero to learn So that's reason number one. He's an easy hero to learn and easy hero to play now I might be biased, but then again He is one of my least played heroes and if I consistently do well with Hanzo, maybe it's not the player Maybe it's the hero that's easy, but in this specific meta Hanzo can hang with a lot of things He can obviously take out a lot of McCree's because 
because Hanzo is good at short range, mid range, and also long range because he is technically a sniper hero, even though he does good at every single range. So if there's going to be a bunch of McCrees running around, he's somewhat of a decent counter since you can get to the high ground easier and protect yourself that way. And against the tanks, the popular duo comp that I mentioned before, Reinhardt and Zarya, you're going to be able to chip away against the shield with your storm arrow against your regular bow and arrow, probably even easier than McCree. And even against a dive comp, a diving diva, you have your leap so that you can get away to safety. The Winston bubble should get easily shredded by your storm arrow. And you can even take out the tanks because you're freaking Hanzo, bro. You can take out squishies. You can take out tanks. You can take out literally everybody just as long as you're spamming your storm arrows every chance you get. Because really, it's the storm arrows that makes Hanzo OP against shields, against squishies, against tanks. He He's taking out everybody if you're somewhat competent or at least have more than three IQ, which I mean, if you're watching me, you probably don't because I probably gave you negative five IQ just by watching this video alone. <laughs> but we haven't even gotten to the best part about Hanzo. I never thought I would hear me say that. He goes great with what I'm going to be considering to be the most popular tank in Season 27. And that, of course, is none other than the cotton candy hair girl herself, Zarya. Hanzo's going to be great because the Zarya-Hanzo grab dragon combo is extremely OP. There's only one way that you can counter this dragon, and that's a Zenyatta ultimate. But even then, all you got to do is throw an anti-nade or I think even nano boost the ulting Hanzo, and you can still shred through the Zenyatta ultimate. That is how good this ultimate combo is. And you get dragons pretty frequently and if you're good with Zarya or if you're just somewhat competent at knowing when to bubble the Reinhardt that is going in and being aggressive, you're going to get your grab a lot too. Zarya amplifies Hanzo. Zarya amplifies the aggressive Rhine. Zarya just amplifies everybody. Like I don't really think there was ever a season where Zarya was not good. She is the most consistent tank through and through and she can be in any kind of tank composition. Like I keep harping in this video, the lethal tank duo combo with Reinhardt and Zarya has always been a staple, but if you're gonna have a Hammond on your team that refuses to switch, Zarya is actually a somewhat good tank to play alongside him because, well, not only does it give Hammond extra protection, which he's desperately gonna need, I actually feel like you get a lot more charge because you are bubbling the Hammond that is getting in the thick of things. If you have a dive comp with Winston and you refuse to switch to D.Va, the bubble is a good alternative that gives Winston a little bit more extra time to get his jump back to jump back to safety. What I'm trying to get at is Zarya goes good with everybody and her ultimate makes a lot of good DPS heroes even better. Whether it is Hanzo's Dragons or Tracer's Pulse Bomb or even Sombra EMP, there are a lot of DPS ultimates that can be valued a lot higher if you do have a grab. I don't say this a lot because I feel like every single hero can do good in any season. It's all just dependent on the player. If you are looking for the most consistent hero to play, Zarya Zarya is probably your best bet. She doesn't get a lot of changes. She doesn't get nerfed. Her hero kit is fantastic. The bubbles allow you to be a great DPS tank. Her ultimate is always going to be the best in the game. Just played Zarya. <laughs> but if Zarya is going to be what is probably going to be the most popular hero in Season 27, we got to try to look to counter her. What is someone that can play at long distances that can chip away at her, but also counter the Zarya grab? <laughs> Ooh, I just burnt my foreshadowing. That's right, Zenyatta is going to be a great support hero in Season 27. <laughs> you start to sense a theme in a lot of these best heroes to play in whatever season we're covering, in this case, Season 27. And you're going to see a lot of Reinhardt Zarya's you're going to see a lot of long range heroes. So I feel like Zenyatta gives you another chance to once again chip away at the Reinhardt shield or any kind of shield. I just keep saying Reinhardt because he is the most popular. But whether it's Winston, Oris, or even Sigma shield, you can still do a lot of chip damage with Zen. Your Transcendence can easily counter the Zarya Grav, which is still one of the best ultimates in the game. But it becomes completely useless if you do have Transcendence. And if you're smart enough with positioning, you should be able to take out McCree's, Ashes, Hanzo's, a lot of long range heroes with your second fire ability and just be an overall great DPS support hero. Well, you do have someone like Baptiste that can do a lot of what Zenyatta does, counter the grab with his immortality, do a lot of chip damage by himself, have a window that can completely take out any kind of shield that is in front of him. I, I feel like Zenyatta is just a more well-rounded team-oriented DPS support hero. You have the Discord Orb, which if you have a really, really good DPS hero like McCree, like Hanzo, they're going to take full advantage of. And the Harmony Orb is just an 
all around decent heal ability that's consistently going to heal somebody up at any given distance, which I don't think enough people give emphasis on. Yeah, you have Baptiste, yeah, you have Mora, yeah, you have Mercy, but you're limited at the range at which you can heal. Zenyatta Orb, it can be at any range just as long as you keep an eye on like the daddy babysitter you are. Just be careful for those flank heroes, because even though you're going to have a McCree that can't stop a Tracer, a Doomfist, a Genji, if you don't have anybody that can stop them, you are very, very vulnerable, and this is where you have to be a smart Overwatch player and switch off a Zenyatta to somebody that can hang with whatever is on the field. That is what's so beautiful about Overwatch, is that even though, yeah, these might be popular picks, there's going to be some enemy teams that play some wild composition, like maybe some Genji Reaper and some Hammond Hog that are just totally demolishing your team, and you really weren't ready for that, but that's just because they're a better Overwatch player with those heroes, which is where you have to be smart and switch off of heroes that can counter those heroes. Just remember the whole idea of Overwatch is the better players should win, but you should be able to win with whatever hero you are good with. Maybe it's these heroes, or maybe it's a hero that I didn't even list off before, which is why I love making these videos so that you can broaden your horizon so that when the time does come and when you put in the time with McCree, Zarya, or any kind of hero, you will shine. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. Good luck in Season 27, and bye.